Like many teenagers, 17-year-old Keenan Shaw enjoys skateboarding, drinking pop, and hanging out with his friends. Unlike most teenagers, he also has an entrepreneurial spirit. When his Lethbridge High School, Winston Churchill, decided to sell only diet pop to fall in line with the province's health codes, Keenan's business sense kicked in. I found an opportunity and I tried to make the best of it. Keenan advertised his product, walking around with a sign, and he sold pop from his locker for a couple of weeks before being asked to stop by the school. When he refused, he was sent home for a day and a half suspension, and he's been told he'll be expelled if he continues to sell pop in the school. If someone disagrees with a policy, for example, there's avenues that you would advocate for change in policy. We would hope that rather than a student continue to defy a policy, that they would sort of take the route of how do you properly work within a system? How do you work within an institution if you don't agree with something? Now Keenan has moved off school property. He has set up shop here across the street where he sells his Pepsi for a dollar. His mother, Alyssa Shaw Letourneau, didn't want to go on camera, but she said she thinks too much is being made of this. After all, it's Pepsi, not Coke, as in cocaine the drug. And she hopes her son's actions won't lead to more discipline from the the school. As for Keenan, he says all the publicity surrounding this has helped him out. In fact, now business is booming. Something I'd like to see is to give us back the freedom of choice rather than restricting us to one option because the way it's going right now, we're just finding other ways to get it. Many of his classmates support his stand and they cross the street to purchase pop. I actually think it's pretty cool what he's doing right now. Like he's just kind of, he wants to give like he wants to sell actual pop because the school doesn't have that for us or whatever so he wants people to have what they want. They have diet pop in the cafeteria and I think that's kind of dumb because there's so much bad more bad things in diet pop than uh, there's in the regular aspartame like aspartame and, and stuff. stuff yeah so I'd rather drink a normal pop and it tastes so much better. But not all of his fellow students agree with his stand. I think it's a dumb story I think it's I think it's fair what happened. I mean, if you're going to do something, someone tells you to stop. That's just what you have to do. If you don't like it, that sucks. That's how the world works, and you got to face your consequences. That's life. Keenan says he'll continue his crusade, giving the people what they want, at least until the winter comes. He says he knows some students and teachers think he's giving the school a bad name, but he's confident his stand will leave a lasting impression in his graduating yearbook, if nowhere else. What will they write in your yearbook, do you think? <laughs> Most likely to make money, I don't know. I'm Rob Gibson. This has been a Sun News Special Report.